Hello and welcome to this lecture, which is a conceptual walkthrough of AWS Autoscaling Group, that is ASG. Before we get deeper into its functioning and how we can create an autoscaling group, I have a question. That is, why do we need this service? And to answer this question, we will again go back to the same example wherein we had our very popular application deployed on a single EC2 instance and this application is drawing more and more traffic on a daily basis. Now to handle this increase in traffic, we need to add one or two or three EC2 instances depending upon the traffic need. So the next question is how do we do that? So one of the obvious answers is we spin up this EC2 instance manually, do all the configurations once again, and put the application, install or deploy the application on this EC2 instance, and then put it behind the application load balancer so that application load balancer can send traffic to this new EC2 instance as well. That is one way to go. But then this again warrants some more question. When do we determine that now is the time to add one instance? And when do we know that now is the time to remove that added instance because the traffic increase is no more there and it can happen? So, and, and there is one more thing to consider. Every time we need to add one instance, we have to go through the whole process of creating the EC2 instance and configuring it and deploying the application over it and then put it behind the application load balancer, right? So this is a very manual process and time taking one. And when you decide to do this, it will take five minutes, 10 minutes, depending upon what kind of application is there and you're losing that traffic and it's and somebody has to keep monitoring it and keep uh, increasing or decreasing the number of EC2 instances. So is there a, me a mechanism that handles all this automatically? And the answer is there is and that mechanism is called auto scaling group. So, to answer the question as to how does the auto-scaling group know when to add or remove an EC2 instance, the answer is there is an alarm created for scale out and scale in events. Scale out is when you add an instance, scale in is when you remove an instance. Okay, so there are alarms created. And these alarms are reading some sort of metric. So say at auto scaling group level, CPU utilization is being monitored by this alarm. And when this CPU utilization goes beyond the mentioned defined threshold, then it is an alarm state and according to the scaling policies, the auto scaling group actually adds one instance to the already available fleet of instances. So the sequence of events that we see here, we have this auto scaling group and we have three EC2 instances. And now this auto scaling group has a read matrix part, which is provided by CloudWatch Alarm, which is reading in this particular case, the CPU utilization. And when it goes beyond say 50%, according to the scaling policies, which is also defined in scaling group, it adds one instance, the scale out event happens, and then one more EC2 instance is created. Now, in the event 
the traffic is normal now and the CPU utilization is under the threshold limit. The scaling event will trigger and this increased EC2 instance or any EC2 instance out of these four will be deleted because it is no more needed according to the traffic, right? And if either of these two scenarios are not met, that is, if metrics is within defined range, then nothing happens. Now to answer the question as to how are these EC2 instances coming up? Because last time when we were doing it manually, the burden was to reinvent the wheel every time we had to create an EC2 instance. We had to go through the same process of creating instances, configuring it, providing user data, deploying uh, application and, and whatnot. We have already gone through this whole process in our EC2 creation section, right? Lesson rather. So there is something called launch configuration or launch template, which stores or saves all the configurations needed to create this EC2 instance that will be ready to serve this application. Everything is, all the settings are there in that launch template or launch configuration. So every time an EC2 instance needs to be added, Auto Scaling Group prefers that launch configuration or launch template. And according to the definition of EC2 instance saved in that launch template or configuration, an EC2 instance is created. So that's pretty much it about Auto Scaling Group or ASG. It is a very important service which helps in adding scalability to servers on AWS and a combination of ALB and ASG is very effective, very, very effective, okay? We will see that in our uh, coming sections and, and hands-on lab. So thank you and looking forward to seeing you in the next lecture.